Well, Iowa Governor Mike DeWine is asking for a presidential disaster declaration in East Palestine five months after the toxic train derailment there. In a letter to President Biden, the governor wrote that the declaration would help ensure future federal aid to the community if train company Norfolk Southern ends its support. The company has helped pay pay for cleanup and living expenses for those displaced by the disaster back in February. And the community there is still facing serious health concerns after officials conducted a controlled burn of toxic chemicals days after the derailment. News Nation's Rich McHugh has been closely following this situation for us and has the very latest. Rich? Hi, Kelly. It's been 151 days, exactly five months to the day the train derailed, and officials there decided to burn five tank cars full of vinyl chloride over East Palestine and the surrounding areas. Now, finally, the governor of Ohio has declared the area a disaster. It's an important move that could finally bring federal help to the residents of East Palestine, Ohio. In a letter to President Biden, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine is asking the president to declare the area a major disaster or emergency. But why now? DeWine wrote that he initially asked for an extension to make the decision, but FEMA denied the request late last week. And while Norfolk Southern has been ordered to pay for everything, DeWine wants federal help should Norfolk Southern not live up to their promise, something residents there say they are not doing. Quote, the possibility remains that the voluntary support provided by Norfolk Southern could at some point in the future cease, and this declaration is needed to ensure that state and federal government use all resources available to step in and provide the community with needed assistance. He cited physical and mental health impacts, economic impacts, property value loss to homeowners and businesses. Quote, I have determined that this incident is of such severity and magnitude that effective response is beyond the capabilities of state and the affected local governments and that supplementary federal assistance is necessary. FEMA, in a statement to News Nation, says, quote, We have received the governor's request and it is currently under review. This comes after nearly 100 East Palestine residents made the trip to the state capitol last month to pressure Governor DeWine to do so. East Palestine residents there are sick with vinyl chloride in their system. We have children with nosebleeds, ear bleeds. We're starting to see seizures in adults and in children. Independent testing found cancer causing dioxins in the water, the soil, their air filters, their homes. I worked 35 years as a union bricklayer to have my piece of the American pie. I still visit my home daily just to manicure the yard, and look out for things the way that I knew my grandfather would want done. They say state and federal officials are ignoring their concerns. In February, President Biden vowed to come, but he has not. Are there any plans for President Biden to visit East Palestine? I, I don't have anything to share on a planned visit for the president to, uh, to Ohio. I don't have a, any uh, trips to preview for you at this time. I don't have anything to share on a presidential visit. That same month, Governor DeWine said the president pledged anything you need. The president called me and said, anything you need, uh, I have not called him back uh, after, that, after that conversation. We, I will not hesitate to do that if, we, if we're seeing a problem or, or anything, but I'm not seeing it. Now, we reached out to the White House for comment or just before air. They sent us a comment. I'd like to read some of that. They said, Norfolk Southern is under federal order to cover all costs for cleanup. It's mess in East Palestine, as it does with all the requests it receives. FEMA will expeditiously review any requests it receives from Governor DeWine for federal assistance. So just to recap, Governor DeWine has said that uh, President Biden has vowed his support. The question is whether he will actually follow through with that. Kelly? All right, and our heart goes out to all involved. A very difficult situation. Rich McHugh, thank you for that update. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.